Hello. Hello, Mark. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Great. Thanks very much for talking to me. Sorry? Thank you for talking to me. Thank you for calling me. <laughs> uh, whereabouts are you, by the way? I'm in Finland. Finland? Yeah. I see. We're, we're uh, in the middle of, well, we're at the end of a small uh, European tour. Okay, fine. We heard that our record's doing really well uh, down there. We hope it's uh, actually uh, debuted at number one. That's incredible. So, which is, uh, has it done that anywhere else in the world this year? Never. Are you kidding? <laughs> well, it's interesting. That's, no, that's, a, that's definitely a first for us. Well, it's quite amazing, too, that uh, you have given it the title Album of the Year. I think it's confused a lot of people and journalists alike, especially after it debuted at number one. Uh, and people... <laughs> <laughs> Was there any intention of, uh, of that happening? Obviously, it's... Uh... No, I think that the, the joke was pretty cut and dry. Uh, I think we all assumed that our album wouldn't go number one, so uh, a title like that would probably have a little more... Uh, I would, you know, tongue-in-cheek appeal. <laughs> now I think that kind of confuses the issue a bit, but I think that's good. <laughs> okay, uh, just to talk a little bit about the album. Uh, first of all, th the sound of it. Can you, in your own words, uh, let us know how different it is to the past efforts? It's a pretty generic question, but uh, how can you sum that up for us briefly? Uh, I suppose the music on this record is a little bit more... Um, I suppose... When we made it, our objective was to make it a little more focused or streamlined uh, to make the record sound like one record. So it had one sort of unif uh, uniform sound rather than, I think, in some of our past efforts, we've tried to, to have, you know, maybe 15 different sounds. Uh, this time we wanted to maybe uh, incorporate, you know, uh, the same amount of, you know, stylistically a lot of the same things. But... Um, I don't know what, whether it's a you know a, a ballad or, or or this or that or a noisy tune. Um, hopefully, maybe they can be conveying the same sort of uh, feeling. Can, can I ask a question about finances, if you don't mind? It, like, if uh, you make an album, say every two years ish, and you're on the road in the meantime and all, I just would like to know uh, how often the band gets paid. You get your royalty checks. Uh, well. Basically, the bulk, we, we tour so much because the bulk of the money that we make comes from touring revenue. So, I mean, we make a record, and if it does well, you, you see royalty statements. Um, if it doesn't, you see royalty statements that don't impress you. <laughs> but um, basically, especially now in the music industry, it's pretty funny because when we started out, a gold record really was like an incredible thing. When we had a gold record with with the real thing, when it first went gold, it was kind of like we thought we were going to be millionaires. Uh, turns out, right now, a gold record doesn't mean shit. Well, there's an amazing production on the uh, on the song "The Last Cup of Sorrow," especially the effects they're putting over your voice. Uh, and then you can go ahead and listen to something like "Mouth to Mouth," uh, which is you, you would be surprised. The effects are, are you. Won't, I just sang through a telephone. <laughs> is that all it was? Was it? Well, can you tell me uh, about, uh, well, back to Faith No More, the uh, injection of John Hudson into the band. Uh, how has it changed uh, the band? Um, well, it's probably one of the first times we've had a guitar player that we've been able to write music with. So I would say the only changes that have been made have been good ones. I mean, he's, uh, he, uh, we've, we've had a guy, you know, who we played with and didn't like, and then we had a guy with, uh, with us that uh, played, you know, played great live shows, and he was a really nice guy, but we couldn't write music with him, so now it's kind of like we have the whole package. So it's, uh, yeah, encouraging. And how hard is it for uh, the band to get together to record, write songs, and also do a tour when you all have so many different side projects, especially, say, for example, Mr. Bungle with you? Um, it's not really that easy. Um, it, it's, it probably sounds a little chaotic, but it's somehow it makes sense. I mean, basically there's, there's a time uh, when all of us kind of look at each other and say, look, we're ready to do Faith No More. And basically we know that time is ready when we have a collection of songs together that everybody's happy with. Um, and that is actually the hardest part. It's not getting everybody in the same room, you know, pulling this guy away from that and this guy away from that. It's basically getting kind of body of, of, of music together that we can all say, okay, this is Faith No More. 
that is the that's the challenge finding common ground with five different people uh tell me uh, what about uh, your worst and best moments with faith no more could you share both of those with me best and worst moments uh Oh God, it's 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 pretty. That's that's tough. Um, best moment, uh, da- uh, dancing with Millie Vanilli in in Hollywood. Um, uh, worst moment, uh, uh, having my manager tell me to apologize to Axl Rose. What what happened there? <laughs> you asked for it. <laughs> Please tell me. Uh, I think you know enough. <laughs> okay, okay. That's all you need to know. <laughs> Fine. Uh, I also I ask everyone I speak to and interview uh, this question just to get uh, different answers, obviously. If you were God yeah. for a moment and you had a, a chance to make a statement to the world to be seen and heard, for, by that moment by everybody on the planet, what would that uh, statement be to the world? Kill yourself. <laughs> and here's a final one for you. Uh, have you ever uh, wondered this thought? Did you ever wonder if your mom gave dad a blowjob right before she kissed you goodnight? What the hell is that? <laughs> I found it on the internet, funny enough. <laughs> <laughs> you see, only something like that could you find on the internet. <laughs> oh, that's no, amazing, isn't it? <laughs> It is pretty amazing. It blows my mind. That's good. Is, is there a whole song of that? Uh, no, it's just a grab that actually someone sent to me. We did with our emails and said, here, take this. And I dared to play it on the air. And I just thought it was so funny. I thought, damn it, I'll play it. And from now on, I use it in interviews like this. Yeah. Wow, so it's like a, uh, a sound bite or something. Yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> so have you ever wondered that? No, I never have. <laughs> well, I hope you sleep well tonight. I don't want to start wondering that soon, either. <laughs> okay, uh, well, thanks very much for talking I'd to me, Mike. I'd rather not know. We look forward to seeing you in Australia when you get here. Cool. I uh, guess it's, um, it's uh, October, right? The beginning of October? Sure is, yeah.